Hey guys, this is Kapil from HS Academy and welcome to another informative video. So in today's video, we are going to learn about TLV. What is that? TLV, Threshold Limit Value. Okay, Threshold Limit Value. Now, basically guys, uh, when we talk about the TLV, okay, it looks very big concept, but it is very simple. In today's video, fully we will discuss that concept, its types and its applications. Okay, so first of all, let's understand what is the meaning of TLV. So guys, TL we mean, it is believed that generally, if a chemical substance is there, which is airborne, airborne, which is means present in the air, in the suspended particles. Okay, so it can be inhaled five days in a week and eight hours per day. And it's concentration. It means whatever we are inhaling daily eight hours for the five days in a week, it will be safe. So that particular limit will be called as TLV. Okay, means the concentration, basically TLV will tell you the concentration of a chemical, which will be safe if you are inhaling it for eight hours per day and for five days in a week. Okay, so it will tell you the concentration. Sounds different, no? Let's make it more simpler. Okay, so before understanding TLV guys, we need to understand one basic concept. Actually, I'll tell you one thing, why this concept is important. If you are looking for the job as a safety professional in industrial sectors, or as a industrial hygiene in the industrial sectors as well as as a toxicologist at the time this particular concept becomes very very important okay because it is one of the part of your job so now before going to the TLV we need to understand one curve okay because this is the basis how that particular TLV is being established first of all let's un understand this very simple curve after that it will be more easy for you okay so guys this particular curve name is DR curve what is that DR curve dose versus relationship curve so initially as i told you in this channel we will cover industrial hygiene fire protection and safety so this particular video is belonging to industrial hygiene what is that industrial hygiene so when you are studying industrial hygiene at the time you need to study a lot of subjects like toxicology audiometry like that lot of subjects are there so inside toxicology one important curve is there that is called dose and response curve it means if you are taking a specified dose of a medicine of a toxicants of a anything of a chemical then what will be the relationship of that what will be the response in your body okay so here we will understand that see guys this is your x-axis and this one is your y-axis okay so x-axis is denoting the level of dose it means how much dose you have taken or y-axis is responsing you the re response of that it means what was the response in your body whether it is more whether it is less whether it is medium okay so we have in this case we have two toxicant toxicants it means any toxic substances so when we talk about the toxic substance number a so you can see here we have taken a dose of 10 okay and the response is more immediately it is giving more response okay see you can see there is a quick enhancement in the graph okay you can see this particular s s pattern generally when whenever you will see the dose and response curve you will see this s pattern in every curve okay so you can see how much dangerous it is it means you have taken and it is not taking too much time generally directly it is giving you more impact that is the impact of 50 okay response of 50 on the other hand when we talk about the toxicant number b you can see here we, we have taken small doses and the response is coming slowly slowly okay so these are the two differences now in between of that curve it means in the dr curve dose and response curve the minimum value the lowest value in that particular curve that, that will be called as threshold value what is that threshold value so if you are taking that threshold value there will be no effect will be in your body no effect will be there okay see if you take this zero value okay minimum value or any value inside here there will be no response in your body okay generally it is seen that when you are taking small doses of the medicine there will be no effect in your body but if you are taking high doses of the medicine then there will be effect in your body generally when we are going on the streets when we are working in the industries at the time also every time we are not getting any sort of like uh, any problem any responses and all because we are taking the doses in very small quantities okay so the same concept applicable here so now as i told you threshold value what is that the minimum value on the dr dose and response curve will be called as threshold value okay now this threshold value can be called as tlv also what is that tl okay it is basically given by acgih American Conference of Government Industrial Hygienists, they have given that. Okay, previously it was called as MAC. Okay, what is that? MAC, Maximum Allowable Concentration. Previously that was called as MAC. Now also guys, generally we are calling as TLV, but in the lot of books like uh, CSP examination, you will get that PEL, 
permissible exposure limit but the meaning of them is almost same we will discuss that now guys you understood the meaning of tlb basically it is applicable for the contaminants which is airborne which is present in the air okay now let us understand the types of it it means what are the types of tlb that is present generally tlb can be classified into three main types what is that three main types okay first of all tlb twa first is time weighted average second is stel short term exposure limit and third is ceiling so one by one we will discuss them okay what is the meaning of them and their applicability okay guys so i have discussed with you what is the meaning of tlb okay now let understand the types one by one so initially as i told you three types are available okay first of all tlb twa that means threshold limit value time weighted average threshold limit value time weighted average second is tlb stel threshold limit value short term exposure limit and tlb c threshold limit value ceiling what is that threshold limit value ceiling so these are the type of tlb that is present so let's discuss them one by one first of all twa now guys time weighted average means what so generally time weighted average means it is the concentration of a chemical for a specified period of time for example let's take my example i am a worker in a company okay and i am working with the chemicals so at the time one specified chemical is there with that i am working okay so there will be one twa will be there it means that much concentration should only be available there if i am working there okay a specified concentration should be available of that chemical there only okay this chemical concentration is safe if i am working 8 hours per day and 5 days per week okay it means totally you can tell 40 hours 8 5 is 40 no 8 into 5 is equals to 40 okay if i am working for 8 hours per day and 5 days in a week then this concentration will be safe which is given by twa so you can tell it it is for one week okay it is giving you an estimate of one week okay that is the meaning of time weighted average second is stel so it as its name suggests short term exposure limit if you are planning to work in a area okay for a short time short time in the sense less than 15 minute or maximum 15 minutes okay and the chemical concentration will be more there okay then what will be what should be the concentration of that chemical if you if you want to work in any space for less than 15 minutes then it will decide what will be the concentration of any chemical if a chemical is hazardous because every chemical will be having their different twa stel and ceiling limits okay so stel is basically used for short term works if you are just going for any work less than 15 minutes or maximum up to 15 minutes then what should be the chemical allowable chemical concentration of that chemical okay generally there is a full list available on the acgih website you can check out if you want any chemical stel twa and c okay now when we talk about the tlbc that is called ceiling limit c means ceiling limit so ceiling limit means it is one of the limit which should not be exceeded at any time it means it is one of the maximum if this is exceeded if ceiling limit is exceeded then you can expect a fatality on the spot itself okay now i hope you got that three points so let me just revise that for you so it will be more easy for you so twa is for those workers those who are working 5 days in a week 8 hours per day okay what will be the chemical concentration for them that will be safe if they are working they off for their lifetime then there will be no adverse effect in the future as well as present also okay so that concentration will come in twa what is that twa stl second is stl short term exposure limit short term exposure limit means if you want to work at a place where the chemical concentration is very high but you want to work for 15 minutes okay 15 minutes or less time then what will, should be the chemical concentration of there okay so it is generally used for short term works okay when we are going above and beyond the twa you know at the time stl limit comes and third is ceiling limit it means if the ceiling limit reached if a workplace is there where the ceiling limit has reached already or it is nearby the ceiling limit then you should never work there because it will result in ultimate fatality and there is one more limit is there generally it is not related to tlb that is called idlh immediately dangerous to life and health if this limit has been exceeded or reached then also you should not work there because as its name suggests immediately dangerous to life and health okay okay guys so this particular threshold limit value sometimes you will find that tlb as the name of pel permissible exposure limit which is being given by osha okay so make sure that these these two are almost same because that particularly pel permissible exposure limit is based upon 
TWA concept. Okay, generally when we talk about these two, no, you should go for that, which is given by ECGIH because that OSHA's PEL is not frequently updated. That's why we should always refer to TLB, TWA of American Conference of Government Industrial Hygienist. Okay, now one important question is there, why there is a need to understand that, why we are just going to these things. See guys, when generally we talk about the chemical safety, at the time we know one hazard is there that is called exposure to chemicals. Okay, inhalation, inhalation hazard is there, no? So at the time we should uh, need to know, no? How much chemical we will in inhale and what will be the effect of that? Generally, uh, when we talk about electrical safety, then there will there is a concept, no? If there, that much ampere current is there, that much effect will be there. Okay, if that much ampere current is there, fatality will be there. So likewise, the same concept is applicable there. Less the dose, less the effect. Sometimes less the dose, more the effect. Okay, so this was the simple concept of TLV. So guys, this was the end of this video. If you have any doubt with regards to TLV, TWA, STL and ceiling limits, you can drop in the comment box. I'll be happy to answer you as well as this was about the concept. I have explained you the concept. But in the next video, we will come up with the formulas. Okay, if you want to calculate because it is very, very important for the CSP exam preparation as well as NIBOSH International Diploma exam preparation. Okay, so we need to understand that concept very nicely. So guys, if you like this video, share this video with your friends and like this channel and subscribe this channel. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.